Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, you see I've got my chassis going here for our 66 Chevrolet Ambulance. But I wanted to show you real quick how easy it is, if you guys don't already know, to make a shock absorber. Okay, here are our kit parts. And then here are the items you're going to need. Eighth inch tubing. A hundred thousandths rod. And some eighty thousandths rod. And quite possibly this little thin metal wire. 24 gauge that I buy at Hobby Lobby. Comes in a spool. Uh, it's loaded down. I've got two of them. I didn't pay much money for it, but this will probably last me, I don't know, 600 years. But there's a lot of stuff on there. So the first thing you want to do is... Take a piece of the 100,000th rod and just cut a nice wide piece off to where it fits on top of the 8th inch tubing. Now this is all kind of guesswork. It's going to depend on what model you're actually building. But you can see here I'm, I'm fairly close. And then your 80 thousandths rod, you're going to cut a piece of that. And then you're going to cut a little bitty sliver of that as well and glue on the top. Just like that. And then when you put these pieces together, you just slide them into each other. We've got a heavy-duty shock absorber that you made yourself. Looks a little bit beefier than the kit part. And if you wanted to get super detailed with it, you could drill a hole through that 100,000th rod right there and the 80 thousandths as well. And actually add bolts to them. Here I've stuck one in. It's not glued in yet. It's just kind of setting in place. Of my rear chassis here. Of the ambulance. And it looks much better, if I can get this in here, it looks much better than the kit supplied piece. At least I think it does. It's, uh, it's beefier looking. Looks more robust and very easy to make with only three items. Now, the reason why I brought up the wire is you could make these coilover shocks by simply wrapping it around the 80,000th rod here. You just simply wrap it around. Let me show you real quick, if I can here on camera. This wire cuts really, really easy. And if you was just to take a piece of 80,000 rod, just kind of hold it and start wrapping. 
this is how I make my uh, cords for my microphones or whatever. Spread it apart a little. Slide it off. It's kind of hard to pick these little pieces up. Then you just slide it back over. Of course, you would want to, you know, make, make your ends a little bit neater, whatever, if you wanted to do that. And then when you, when you stuck that in there, you would have a coil over shock. Wrap it, wrap it a little bit better. I should have used a longer piece of wire, but you get the drift. And that, that is how easy it is to make a pair of shocks. Some of you might already know this. Some of you may not. Three simple pieces of plastic, and you can you can actually say you scratch built something on one of your models. All right, guys, we should be back later today with uh, more uh, another update on the frame and stuff. So until then, we'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.